Hello everybody, how are you doing? Are you ready to sing the hello song? Yay! One, two, three. Hello Michelle, hello. You, hello everyone, it's nice to see you here. Oh, look outside. It's all wet and rainy and gloomy, so I thought we would do a standy up song and something a bit more exciting and interesting. So, oh, let's do a bit of, let's do a lunge. Can you lunge? Oh, my foot's got stuck. Can you lunge? Lunge like that. You see, one that side, that leg. That's it. Now swap your legs and go that way. Oh, I'm not very good at lunging. I've got bad knees. That's it. Running on the spot. Can you run on the spot? Oh, we've got to get ourselves all nice and warm. Now some stretches. That way first. Swap arms now that way. Now bend down and touch the floor. Okay, now, oh, stretch up high and down low. Are you ready? We're going to be a little seed that's planted in the ground and the sun is gonna shine and the rain is gonna fall and we're gonna grow. So make yourself really, really tiny really small oh i'm gonna get cramp oh dear really really small are you ready oh i know gotta wait for the sun to shine is it shining not yet <gasps> there it comes here comes the sun shining another rain i'm gonna start growing very slowly very slowly <gasps> can you see are you growing too oh i'm not gonna be a tall plant a wide plant. Here are my branches. And look, I've got more branches. Oh, look, isn't that a nice feeling? Sun has shone and the rain has fallen. And now the wind's coming. Oh no. Oh, it's been windy the last few days and oh, it's making me fall around. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's calmed back down again. Oh, a little rest. Oh, that was quite good fun, wasn't it? I quite enjoyed being a little seed and growing up. Maybe next time, if you do it, you might decide you're going to be a tall, thin seed. You'd be like a sunflower, really tall and up high. Or you could be a ground, flat one that grows down very, very low. And you can make yourself really wide on the floor. Shall we sing one song? I think we should sing a song. Now, what song shall I sing? Um, oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, I've got it. How about Humpty Dumpty? I do like Humpty Dumpty, but I'm going to build my wall first. So what do I need to build walls? Do I need sticks? That's a fence, isn't it? Would... I need some bricks. How many bricks do you think? Two bricks? Four bricks? I think we might need more. Ten bricks, let's see. Right, I'm going to pretend my bricks are here and I'm going to put one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now I need some mortar on my, on my little trowel over here. Get my next brick and put some mortar on there. Another one, two, three. I'm not a great bricklayer. I've got one, two courses. I need to make three courses. That means three layers of bricks. A course is a layer. Are you ready? Some more, some more stuff on my trowel one two, three. So I've got four on my first course, three on my second course, and three on my top course. And who is going to get and jump to the top? Who's this? Hello, my name is Humpty Dumpty and I'm sitting on a wall. Oh, hello Humpty, how are you today? Well, it's a bit rainy and wet, but you know, you can't have it all, can you? We've had a lot of sunshine recently. I've got to look at the view. What can you see, Humpty? Well, have a look around there. Oh, I can see a dog over there. I can see a person in front of me and I can look out the window and see some birds. Oh, and I can see a dog coming close. No, you've knocked the wall over. Oh, no. Humpty's already on the floor. You kicked my bricks over because they weren't dry. Oh, no, never mind. Humpty's going to sit on, on Bertie. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty 
Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Whee! <gasps> all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. <laughs> Can you clean Humpty up off the floor now? <laughs> he said, no, that's not Spot's rules because we all tidy up with Spot's rules. Bertie, <laughs> Bertie Black. <laughs> I'm surprised at you. Let's go and have our story and we'll see if that's something that's going to be listening to Spot's Rules. Hello again. Now for our story today. I've not read this, oh, I think maybe one, maybe two whole years. And I was looking through all the books on the bookshelf at preschool and I thought, oh, I like this story. And it's lots of action things to do, which is why we started off doing our stretches and things at the beginning and being a seed and stuff like that. It's a really good book. So I'm going to tell it to you quite slowly so you can do all the things that this little creature does in the book. And here it is. It's called Sometimes I Like to Curl Up in a Ball. I'm not sure what that is, but that's definitely ball shaped. And he looks jolly happy, doesn't he? Such a happy chappy. And look, I think he's pretending to be a strawberry. I hope he's not coming to nibble those strawberries like in the Red Ripe Strawberry book. <gasps> because a bear can smell a strawberry from a mile off, don't forget. So he's got to be careful in case the bear comes. Let's have a look. I'm quite excited. Get yourself ready. You've got to act all these things out. And he's a very busy chappy. Here he is again. This time, he's just looking happy. Can you wave at him? Hello. He's such a happy thing. Oh, it's a good feeling when you feel happy. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm feeling a little bit grumpy. We have different emotions, but that's okay. Look, this is why he's so happy. Look at all those other very glorious faces around him. He's still a little ball, but this time he's tickling his toes. He's got friends all around him. Look, oh, this is periwinkle flowers. I like periwinkle. You could pretend to be a periwinkle when you're growing into a flower because they tend to grow in woodland on the ground, quite down low. So you could be a tall sunflower or a short periwinkle. And look, we've got this. Now, I don't think that's a tortoise, is it? I think it might be, yes. Do you think that looks a little bit like me? It does, doesn't it? I just thought it looked like me. And a little rabbit. And this is a tiny little bug. Let's, oh, do you think he's pretending to curl up in a ball like the bug? Let's read the words and find out. Sometimes I like to curl up in a ball so no one else can see me because I'm so small. Wow, have you curled up, tiny little ball? Curl up for me. Good job. Next, stand up. Sometimes... I like to jump high as I can. Can you jump as high as you can? Up and down and up and down. He likes to jump as high as he can to see how much noise I can make when I land. Thump, thump, thump. <gasps> He's woken up the mole. Stop making so much noise. Don't be too noisy at home. Your grown-ups will be trying to work. Oh, oh, it's another noisy one though. Sorry, grown-ups. Are you ready to join in? Sometimes I like to scream ever so loud. <gasps> Not that I'm cross. I just like to know how it sounds. Do you like to make loud noises sometimes just to see how loud you can be? But make sure you do it when you're able to. Otherwise, people can get a little bit cross, can't they, with you? Oh dear, and I think these are probably feeling quite cross. They're so loud, it's made these bugs jump. There's a little fly and a caterpillar and a poor butterfly. They're all going, oh no! It's very, oh, I can hear you. <gasps> you are loud. Oh, not too loud. <gasps> oh dear, no, you're grown ups. They're going to say, Michelle, what are you doing? Oh, this is a good page. I like this because it's in my favourite place. I love to go to the beach. And look, he's gone to the beach. Can you see what he's doing? Sometimes I like to just walk around and around. I can see his footprints. 
is walking around in a circle with his pigeon friends. Coo, coo. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I pigeon step, pigeon step till I fall over. My dog Bertie walks like a pigeon. And when they walk, they always move their head like that. And my dog Bertie does that when he's a bit excited. He's got all disease falling over with the pigeons. Oh, look, the page has gone long and thin. Are you ready? I'm gonna turn it round. Whoa, sometimes I like to stand still as a tree. We did that, we pretended to be a plant and stand still as a tree, didn't we? We were gonna be all sorts of plants. Can you stand still like a tree? Don't move, shh, don't move. And he likes to watch everyone rush about me. Can you see? These are all his little friends that we saw on the front page. Oh, there's a new friend, a rushing frog. Can you see them? Can you see anybody from where you're standing still? Are they busy? Sometimes people like a bit of help. So it's sometimes a good idea to say, would you like me to help you? Sometimes they want it, other times I go, no, that's okay, darling. You carry on doing what you're doing, but it's always good to offer. Oh dear, what's the next page? Are you going to get to move it? Oh, you're going to get to pull a funny face now. Are you ready to pull some funny faces? Sometimes. Oh, I can't do this one. I don't do this. Sometimes I like to poke out my tongue. Oh, look, he's poking his tongue out. Can you poke your tongue out? I don't like doing that. It's, I don't like it. It makes me feel all shy. He does though, doesn't he? He goes... <laughs> or... Pull funny faces. Now that can be fun. Can you pull your funniest face? <gasps> can you do that one? <laughs> or you could do that one. <laughs> or you could do that one. Oh my oh, that's my funny face. We all know what the thumbnail is gonna be now, don't we? <laughs> Let's see what next. This is a good book. I told you it was good. I'm very busy. <gasps> And I know lots of you like this. Sometimes I like to get in a lot of mess. Look at that. He's playing in his mud kitchen, isn't he? Look at all that bubbly muddiness. Wow, even the wiggly worms have come out to see what's going on. With mud on my feet and on my hands and on my chest. He's covered. Don't go outside and do that though, will you? Not unless you're grown up, say you can. Otherwise, you might find that it's not a good choice and you get your best clothes dirty. So you've got to check first before you get really muddy. Oh, this is a good one. You are good at this. I know you're really good at this. Sometimes I like to run ever so fast. Can you run on the spot? Running on the spot really, really, really fast, really fast. Oh, he's winning the race, look. I sometimes come first, but I sometimes come last. Depends, that's all about a race. Sometimes you do go in first, and other times someone else is able to run a bit faster than you. But they're all smiling and having great fun, aren't they? They look like they're really happy to be with one another, don't they? Oh, oh, it's the end of the day. This looks like a very beautiful end of the day. Nothing like we're having at the moment, because we're getting rain, but this looks like red sky at night, shepherd's delight. And when you see a nice sky like this in the evenings, it normally means it's going to be good weather the next day. Have a look at the sky tonight and see if it's all pinky or reddy and orange. And if it is, it'll be sunny the next day. If it's not, it probably won't be. But when the day ends and the sun starts to fall, then I do what I do best of all. I find somewhere soft, somewhere cosy and small. Do you think that's his money? Oh, I think so. Oh, I think they love each other, don't they? Could be daddy, couldn't it? Whoever that grown-up is, they definitely love each other, don't they? I wonder if we've got any more pictures of where is something cosy and small is. Oh, it's such a lovely picture, I might cry. 
And that is where I like to curl up in a little ball. Can you find some cushions or some blankets and curl up in a little ball? And you could go to sleep like him. <gasps> and he's cuddling, he's grown up. Oh, I know, Bertie, isn't that a lovely picture? Oh, it's beautiful. Bertie likes to cuddle up in a little ball, don't you, Bertie? Oh, that looks very cosy. Very cosy indeed. I do like that. I told you it was a good book. You get to run really fast. You get to jog on the spot. You get to curl up in a ball, pull funny faces, have lots of fun. But Bertie, there's no more words. What does that mean? <gasps> the end. Good boy. You've been learning, haven't you? It's the end. And it's time to sing the goodbye song. Are you going to join me? I'm going to pick it up. Oh, Bertie. He's got very cross all of a sudden. Bertie sometimes makes loud screechy noises. I think he likes to hear his voice too, don't you? Honestly, that was a lot of fuss about nothing. All I did was give you a cuddle. Are you ready? Are you going to help me sing? Oh, he's got smelly breath as well. Why do dogs always have smelly breath? Are you ready to sing with me? One, two, three. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye to all our friends. Are you ready, Bertie? Singing I, I, yippee, yippee, I, yee Singing I, I, yippee, yippee, I, woo-hoo! Singing I, I, yippee, I, I, yippee, I, I, yippee, yippee, I.